Yo, yo, it's Pika calling in from Singapore. Hope y'all are doing good out there. It is Saturday night. Actually, technically it's Sunday morning. It's past midnight already, so I'm a little late on here, you guys. Um, just wanted to touch base and see how y'all were doing. Um, I had work today, and it wasn't an early day. I'm so grateful because I'm having trouble sleeping, you guys. There are other things I want to be doing instead of sleeping, so I've been up a lot lately. Uh, I think I went to bed at like three something this morning but lately it's been like between three and five a.m every morning that i go to sleep and it's really not good but i can't help myself anyway um went to bed woke up by about i don't know nine baby girl woke me up because she was hungry and she slept in i was really glad for that so got up made breakfast with both of us uh slowly you know dragged my ass a little bit this morning because I didn't feel like working. I didn't feel like doing anything. But I did get the laundry done. I did get um, light cleaning done in the house. Um, got my clothes ironed and stuff for work today. And I didn't have to leave the house until about 3 o'clock. So that was kind of nice. We had lunch together and then we left the house and headed out to work. Once again, I'm really grateful that this job allows me to bring my baby to work with me because it is a tuition center, so there's like a bunch of kids there anyway. And she's really super independent, uh, independent anyway, so she'll sit by herself and she'll like play with her leap pad or uh, do connect the dots or find the words and color and she's good to go. So I really don't need to like micromanage her. She's pretty, pretty independent and I'm very, very grateful. So um, today we're meant to have a workshop for uh, a mathematics class that we're offering and unfortunately no one showed up, which is fine too because I got to try out the workshop myself. I, tr I, I gave it a whirl. I tried to present it myself. And in that session, because the teacher sat in with me, right, in that session we were able to kind of like flesh out what we need to change about the existing workshop um, uh, presentation and what we need to make sure we touch on so that, you know, we drive the point home with parents that we're offering quality here and we don't like quantity because we want to be able to get to know your kids really well and be able to take care of them and um, adjust whatever procedures we have so that they get the best possible value um, and content for the time that they're there. So it was really kind of cool. It was kind of like a brainstorming practice workshop session, which I really loved. Um, and because there were no real you know, guests there, we got to finish up early. So I got in by about 4, and I was out of there by about 6.30. So it was an early night breath. Now, for me, um, with the business and everything, there are so many facets to my business. So you already know I'm working with someone in Sri Lanka who, um, who is working on a song for us. But in the meantime, while he's working on lyrics and, and whatnot, I'm trying to figure out the marketing on this side. Obviously, I don't have any contacts in Sri Lanka. He would have those contacts. But what little I can do from Singapore, I'm going to do anyway. So the original idea was I figured, like last week when I went in to do the workshop, I went in at about 4, but we didn't get out of there till 9-something. Now, most of my friends are male. Most of them are in the club industry, so they're either DJs or they run a club or they're bartenders or something. So I was thinking, honestly, that I would run down to Clark Key tonight after work finished so I could meet up with John, one of my best friends, um, to see if he can give me some advice about who to go, where to contact, so that once, uh, once this single is ready to be released, I can get airplay. So that was the plan today, but obviously I screwed up. I told baby girl that I was going to go do this, and she was super excited to go somewhere after work. And when we finished up with work today, and it was super early, it was like six something, I realized I can't go out to Clark Key and hang around for several hours because I have other things I need to be doing. So if it's not already late enough for me to go up there and meet John, there's really no point in me going out there. So I changed the plan, and unfortunately because I'd opened my mouth earlier. She was super disappointed. She was so mad at me, and she like didn't want to hold my hand when we walked home, and she didn't want to be near me, and I was like, wow, okay, um, you kind of got to get over yourself because safety reasons, you kind of need to hold my hand when we walk through the station and stuff. So that took a little you know, getting over, but I was able to appease the child. When we got home, um, I made dinner. I let her watch TV, and she was like just chilling or whatever. And um, finally ended up as a really nice day. We... We ended up dancing in the kitchen earlier after I finished cooking. I made Savannah red rice, y'all. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like it's basically rice cooked in chicken broth with some vegetables. So I put in uh, red and green capsicum, or peppers, if you will. And uh, obviously we had onions and garlic as always because I can't cook anything without garlic in it. 
it's a problem. Um, so I cooked. I added the sausage. I used Johnsonville's smoked brats because they taste so good. I couldn't find the garlic ones. I, you know me, I'm garlic friendly. So um, I couldn't find the garlic ones, so I used the smoked brats anyway. And they turned out really well. Because um, once you cook them in butter, everything smells great anyway. So I made that. We ended up dancing and singing in the kitchen because I can't cook. Honestly, I can't cook without music. I need music. <coughs> Excuse me. So it was really cool um, to just, you know, let loose and be ourselves for a little bit because this is the height of my Saturdays nowadays. I don't go out. I don't go drinking. I don't do none of that stuff. If I do go out, I normally go sober anyway, and it's mostly because I want to go dancing. So it was kind of cool to have Baby Girl with me, just, you know, just playing the fool in the kitchen, singing at the top of our lungs, off-key, on purpose, because we can and um, just enjoying life. It's like little things like this that I really, really look forward to. I'm hoping that when she looks back on her childhood, she looks at Saturday nights like this, where she's off from school, I'm finally out of work in the evenings or whatever, and then we just do something together. Like, honestly, I really wanted to get as much work as I could done because I've been calling into work again tomorrow at like 11, but I was hoping that today when we got home, I'd do really something simple with her hair. So I would wash her hair and maybe put it up in a really high ponytail and put twists in the back of her hair so it wouldn't get all knotted up and it would stay for the week. But she wasn't feeling it. She wasn't in a good mood. She wasn't happy, and she said that her, her stomach was hurting. So I just kind of let it be. Um, but like I said, I, I'm hoping that when she looks back at her childhood, she remembers stuff like we used to dance in the kitchen. We used to sing in the kitchen. Um, most of my life, I'm pretty sure, is spent in the kitchen because I just love to cook. But I wanted to have good memories um, of being around in the kitchen, of having home cooked food, so that when she grows up old enough to be able to have her own kids and her own family one day, I'm hoping she'll remember what home means to her. And I'm hoping home kind of includes the idea of being silly, being yourself in your own home, because if you can't be yourself at home, where can you be yourself, right? So I'm hoping she remembers things like this, that we we watch movies when, when it's hair day, when we do our hair. We sing and dance whenever we're cooking. We play music in the background and then play with Lego or make stuff out of Play-Doh. It's just the way we are. I love that she's a lot like me. She is an old soul, you guys. She is the smartest little girl I know. The kinds of conversations we have are super deep. They're not, you know, what's the weather like? What did you have for lunch? What was school like? What were your friends doing? It's nothing like that. We really talk about stuff that matters, y'all. Like, this morning she woke up and she told me she had a, a nightmare. And I said, what's wrong? What happened? She said, I had a nightmare that daddy came and took me away and didn't let me see you ever again. And I was like, well, first of all, that's not going to happen. He's not like that. Second of all, he's not the kind of person to hurt you. And by taking you away from me, he knows that would hurt you. And I don't think he would do that. So I was trying to you know, get her to calm down. But in the meantime, I need her to remember that I'm approachable. I've always been there. We were able to talk about anything. I don't want her to be afraid of anything. I want her to be able to go out there, be brave, try everything you can within reason. And then if you do fall down, get yourself back up and dust yourself off and you try again. You try a different way. I want her to remember the kinds of conversations we had. We had an, a conversation the other day that was like mind-blowing. She was talking about how, you know, the little kids in her class were a little racist towards Tamil people. And I feel bad about that. I feel that, you know, it's kind of sad that she would see all those things. But then she herself was like, you know what, but that's their parents' fault because they don't come out thinking that way. They were taught somehow that that's the way they should see the rest of the world. And I was like, damn, she really do be listening, y'all. <laughs> when I have conversations and when we talk about stuff and I explain stuff if she's upset, all it takes is one time. This girl gets it. She really gets it. And it's just beautiful. It's so amazing. I'm really, really proud of her. So today was real simple. It was a lot of, you know, old priorities like laundry, um, cooking, cleaning the house. And also to include, you know, work at my new job, which I'm really, really grateful for. So tomorrow when I go in, the whole purpose of me going in, based on what happened today, was to meet all the kids that we have testimonials about so that I can tell the parents from a place of authenticity that I know these kids. 
and they've been here for many, many years and what they feel about how they, you know, what, what kind of benefits they get out of being here every so often, like once a week or whatever. So I think that that's really great. I get to take pictures of all these kids, rewrite the testimonials and make the pitch mine basically, like adjust the pitch deck so that it, it suits who I am and the kind of message I want to be giving out to parents. So I'm actually really excited. I'm, I'm happy that I'm part of this team. And it's a really small team. It's just the four of us. It's me, um, the the co-owners, Wendy and Sheila, and then the principal, who is Mahesh. So really, really simple team. I feel, I feel heard. I feel like whatever I say, if I do put in my two cents, they really do hear what I say. And they take it into consideration, and they give it the appropriate amount of weight. And then they tell me, you know, okay, well, you feel this way, but this is what you need to consider because this is the way it actually is. Obviously, I'm like a foreigner coming into a brand new situation. I don't know anything about the Singapore school system. I'm learning in a hurry, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, but even then, like, there's a learning curve for me. So if they don't tell me, I don't know what to expect. And that was part of the reason that my, my previous job didn't work out so much. There was no expectation set. There was no feedback given. There was no, there was nothing but criticism. And for some people, that's Okay. But for me, that doesn't work. I mean, being in that situation back then, thinking about it now, it's kind of like I should have been a little more careful. I should have known that, you know, you never get on the bad side of small-minded people with a little bit of authority. Because those kinds of people are the ones who love putting you down just so they feel superior to you. But anyway, that's beside the point. So the topic today was Saturday. And my Saturday, it was super simple, but I'm very grateful for it. There's enough complica- uh, complex issues in my life that I don't need the days of the week to be complicated either. Obviously, you know, I'm going to have to travel out of my way to drop baby girl off at school and then come pick her up again after I go to work and come back. But those kinds of things, as complicated as they may seem, are actually quite mundane. Nothing really changes out of the ordinary during the week because this is the schedule I need to keep. I need to get her to school. I need to pick her up. I need to go to work in the meantime. And I am going to tell you I'm super grateful to have split days off. Not many people would say they are happy with split days off, but both my split days are during the week, y'all. So that means if I need to go to the bank, if I need to, you know, run to the post office, if I got to do any of those things that require a business that is open during business hours, I'm golden. I can do that because I don't, I don't have to wait till I'm off of work to go do that because I'm off during the week, a couple of days. So I did, I think I mentioned it the other day, my work days have been changed. So I do work every day of the week, but I'm off on Monday and Friday. And as odd as that sounds, I'm actually quite grateful. I'm happy Monday is an off day for me. I'm happy I have two days on, a day off, and then three days on, and another day off. So that works out fine. I have no problems with that. I just need to balance my home life a little bit more because I feel like I'm not cleaning enough. Oh, and another thing that popped up. For some reason, my stupid bathroom is leaking. So I'm going to go have, go check out a hardware store or something and see if I can find some caulk like a silicone putty or something that I can like caulk all of these um, the grout marks because what's happening is the grout was originally laid in cement it looks like and it's been crumbling over the last 18 years and it's like washing away so as the grout washes away the water from inside the shower cubicle is actually leaking out into the main the, the main bathroom itself which isn't actually a problem because our bathrooms are set up in such a way that if you were to wash the floor of the bathroom you can actually just direct all the water toward the drain in the middle of the room so that works. But the only problem is where the shower should be um, separated from the rest of the bathroom, it's not quite doing what it should anymore because the water's leaking through the grout, the grout line. So I need to go ahead and put in the silicone and stop that up. So that's another project I need to go ahead and like take care of as soon as possible. But otherwise, I am content with the way my life is. I am happy with the things that are in my life. I am happy with the people in my life. Um, I can't say much more than that. I'm happy. I'm content. I don't need a lot. It doesn't take a lot from me. I'm not high maintenance. I don't get my eyebrows done and my nails done and my hair done. I don't do all that. Maybe once in a blue moon because I'm addicted to cutting my hair. It's it's a problem. <laughs> but um, yeah, today was a good day in the words of Ice Cube. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything I have right now. I have enough. I have enough to get by every day and that's more than I can ask for. So I'm actually really happy about that. All right, y'all. My rant is over. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow or later on this today. Today's 
yeah, it's uh, past midnight already. So anyway, I'll holler. Y'all take care and um, hit me up, write me, comment, DM, whatever. Check out the website if you like, www.rasath1.com. Um, I stagnated a little bit on the blog still, but it's coming. I'm going to make sure by hook or by crook by the 31st, I'm going to have 31 blog posts. I keep saying it. Um, and then I keep staying up in the middle of the night and not really doing much. So I am going to go and write now. Okay. Y'all take care. I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Bye.